This story is entitled The Secret Diary of a Wolf. Here, Wolf has his diary tucked under his arm. The story is written by Felicia Law and illustrated by Leslie Danson. The wolf kept a diary. He tended to forget things if he didn't. Monday Tease three little pigs. Tuesday Choir practice. Wednesday my birthday. Friday, exercise. Saturday, visit mom. Sunday, catch up with diary. And his life was pretty busy. On Monday, for example, he had one of those naughty days, the kind of day when everyone gets cross with you because you're having lots of fun. It's a good way to start the week if you're a wolf. Monday. When I got home, I was tired out. It was all that huffing and puffing. Whew. Those three little pigs are so stupid. I mean, I wasn't really going to blow their houses down. I was only teasing. On Tuesday, he went to choir practice with the rest of the wolf pack. The wolves got into a huddle and howled. Some howled the high notes, while some howled the low ones. It helped if there was a full moon. Somehow, they all howled better. See the sign? It says, Tuesday, choir practice, bark corral. On Wednesday, it was the wolf's birthday. He sent himself a card and bought himself a present. That way, he knew his birthday wouldn't be forgotten. Wolf wrote in his diary. Wednesday. Today is my birthday. And I got a card and a present. It was a lovely sheepskin coat. And I look great in it. Just like a sheep. It was my best birthday ever.
on Thursday. Little Red Riding Hood came knocking. Wolfie, she called. Will you come out and play, Wolfie? Will you chase me through the woods? Will you gobble up my granny? Will you put on her nighty and hide in her bed? Wolf wrote in his diary. Thursday. Little Red Riding Hood came knocking again. She wants me to play all these weird games with her. Where does she get her ideas from? Honestly, she frightens me to death. Anyway, I hid under the table until she got tired of knocking and went away. On Friday, the wolf decided to go out and do some wolfish things. This mostly involved chasing other animals who were smaller than himself and who got easily scared. But then, a few animals chased him, and that wasn't nearly so much fun. That night, he watched a movie. It was called Peter and the Wolf. Wolf wrote in his diary, Friday night. The film started well. The wolf caught a fat duck and swallowed it whole. Clever wolf, I thought. But I didn't like the ending. The wolf got caught by this child, Peter, and was dragged off to a zoo. What a punishment, just for eating a duck. On Saturday, the wolf went to see his old mother. She was bony and wrinkly. and lived in an old wolf's home. She still had her dressing gown on, as he was a bit early. And he had to help her put her teeth in. Wolf wrote in his diary, Saturday, my mom has to sip her tea through a straw because she's got no teeth. I told her all about the film Peter and the Wolf. I changed the ending to make it more exciting for the wolf. But even so, she soon dozed off. On Sunday, the wolf got up really late. He knew he shouldn't, but there didn't seem a lot else to do. 
He ate a boiled egg to make sure he had his protein. And then he read the Sunday papers. He especially liked reading the book section. And this gave him a brilliant idea. A quite brilliant idea. Everyone seemed to be writing about themselves. Football players, models, TV celebrities, famous people, and even spotty teenagers. They all kept diaries. And these diaries were made into best-selling books. The wolf put his diary into a large brown envelope. and wrote the address on the front. He would post it tomorrow. You never knew. Sunday, the wolf wrote in his diary. Sunday. So, it's gone. I sent it to my favorite publisher. I said I was a famous author, which is a big lie. But what else do they expect from a wolf? You see how many copies of the wolf's book are on the table and underneath it says bestseller. <laughs>